In my last video, Euler's Theorem Part 4, we have studied modified Euler's Theorem for inverse trigonometric functions and logarithmic functions which is given as x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y where f u is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y. In this video, we are going to study an extension of this modified Euler's theorem given as x square dou 2 z upon dou x square plus 2 x y dou 2 z upon dou x dou y plus y square dou 2 z upon dou y square which equals g u times g dash u minus 1 where g u is this n times f u upon f dash u. So this is g u, a function of u. Hello friends. You are watching YouTube channel Number Collage. This channel features videos on mathematical concepts. Effort has been made to explore the concepts through basic mathematical ideas. Hope you will like my effort. By modified Euler's theorem, x do u by do x plus y do u by do y equals n f u upon f dash u and we assume this to be g u a function of u. We name this 1. Next we partially differentiate expression 1 with respect to x that gives us x dou 2 u upon dou x square plus dou u by dou x into 1 plus y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y plus dou u by dou y into 0 which equals g dash u into dou u by dou x. We will multiply this by x and simplify it so as to get x square dou 2 u upon dou x square plus x dou u by dou x plus x y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y equals g dash u into x dou u by dou x. We name this 2. Next we partially differentiate 1 this time with respect to y and get x dou 2 u upon dou y dou x plus dou u by dou x into 0 plus y dou 2 u upon dou y square plus dou u by dou y into 1 equals g dash u into dou u by dou y. Multiplying this expression by y and simplifying we get x y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y plus y square dou 2 u upon dou y square plus y dou u by dou y equals g dash u y dou u by dou y. Let us write this expression 2. Once again this will be x square dou 2 u upon dou x square plus x y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y and we will send this x dou u by dou x to right hand side so that it will be g dash u minus 1 times x dou u by dou x. This is modified statement 2. We will rewrite this expression once again which will be x y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y plus y square dou 2 u upon dou y square. We will send this y du by dy to the right hand side so that it will be g dash u minus 1 y dou u by dou y. We will rename this 1. Now we will add this 1 and this 2 to get this x square dou 2 u upon dou x square. This x y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y plus this x y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y will become 2 x y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y plus this y square dou 2 u upon dou y square equals on the right hand side we get x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y into g dash u minus 1. This will become x square dou 2 u upon dou x square plus 2 x y dou 2 u upon dou x dou y plus y square dou 2 u upon dou y square equals this according to Euler's theorem 
is nothing but gu from 1 so here it will be gu into g dash u minus 1 and this is what we have to show as an extension of modified Euler's theorem if u is equal to tan inverse x square plus y square upon x minus y we have to find the value of in function u let us put x equals xt and y equals yt so that u becomes tan inverse of x square t square plus y square t square upon xt minus yt that will be tan inverse of t raised to 1 x square plus y square upon x minus y so here u is not in the form t raised to n tan inverse of x square plus y square upon x minus y so u is not a homogeneous function but we can write function u as tan u equals x square plus y square upon x minus y putting x equals xt and y equals yt here we will get tan u equals x square t square plus y square t square upon xt minus yt that gives t raised to 1 x square plus y square upon x minus y which is tan u equals t raised to 1 tan u which implies f u that is tan u is a homogeneous function of degree this one so we have f u equals tan u and f dash u equals sec square u now as decided earlier we write g u as n times f u upon f dash u that will be 1 into tan u upon sec square u so g u will be tan u which is sin u upon cos u upon sec square u that is cos square u cancelling one cos from numerator it will be sin u cos u which we write as half times 2 sin u cos u which is half 2 sin u cos u is sin 2 u this is g u and g dash u will be half cos 2 u into d by d u of 2 u which is half cos 2 u into 2 cancelling 2 g dash u is cos 2 u now going back to finding the value of this x square dou 2u by dou x square plus 2xy dou 2u by dou x dou y plus y square dou 2u by dou y square please note we have replaced this z by u so this is according to this expression will be gu into g dash u minus 1 which is gu from here is half sin 2 u into g dash u from here cos 2 u minus 1 this will be half sin 2 u into cos 2 u minus 1 we write this one half for sin 2 u we write 2 sin u cos u and we write this cos 2 u minus 1 as 1 minus cos 2 u so this will be after cancelling 2 minus sin u cos u and for 1 minus cos 2 u we write 2 sin square u so that will be minus 2 sin cube u cos u so this will be the required value of this expression minus 2 sin cube u cos u if u equals sin inverse x raised to 1 fourth plus y raised to 1 fourth upon x raised to 1 fifth plus y raised to 1 fifth we have to prove that the value of is 1 upon 400 tan u into tan square u minus 19 from our earlier discussion we know that this inverse trigonometric function u is not a homogeneous function but it's another form sin u equals x raised to 1 fourth plus y raised to 1 fourth upon x raised to 1 fifth plus y raised to 1 fifth is 
a homogeneous function of degree n equals 1 upon 20. Now we have f u equals sin u therefore f dash u will be cos u. Now we have g u equals n into f u upon f dash u. So this will be 1 upon 20 into sin u upon cos u that is g u is 1 upon 20 tan u. Therefore g dash u will be 1 upon 20 sec square u. Now we will evaluate g u into g dash u minus 1. That will be this 1 upon 20 tan u into g dash u which is this 1 upon 20 sec square u minus 1. This will be 1 upon 20 tan u into 1 upon 20. For sec square u we write 1 plus tan square u minus 1. This will be 1 upon 20 tan u into 1 upon 20 tan square u plus 1 upon 20 minus 1. This will be 1 upon 20 tan u into 1 upon 20 tan square u minus 1 upon 20 minus 1 19 upon 20. This further gives us g u dot g dash u minus 1 equals 1 upon 20 into 1 upon 20 1 upon 400 tan u into tan square u minus 19. This is what we have to prove here. Hence the required statement is proved. If u is log r where r square is x square plus y square we have to prove that the value of this plus 1 is 0. R square is x square plus y square. So R is square root x square plus y square. So U equals log R will be log root x square plus y square to the base E. From our earlier discussion we have seen this is not a homogeneous function but its other form E raised to U equals square root x square plus y square which we name f u is a homogeneous function of degree n equals 1. If f u is e raised to u, f dash u is also e raised to u. Next we find value of g u which we have seen is n times f u upon f dash u which will be 1 into e raised to u upon e raised to u that is 1. So g dash u will be 0. Now we find value of g u into g dash u minus 1 that will be 1 into 0 minus 1 that equals minus 1. Now we have value of this equals g u into g dash u minus 1 which we have found minus 1. Therefore this value plus 1 will be minus 1 plus 1 0. Hence this is proved. Viewers if you like this video please click the like button. Share this video with your friends and classmates. Subscribe to this channel. Post your constructive comments to make the videos better. See you in the next video. Until then keep watching Number Collage. Thank you.